and welcome to another budget and legged video. Now we are doing today a pollen filter or cabin filter, particle filter, all the same. Um, and what actually happens when it's blocked. Now the customer is complaining he's not getting enough air through. So as he turns his fan on, he feels like his fan essentially isn't on. You can hear the fan and you can hear the fan well. So we know it's not the fan. So I'm going to show you. This. I hope you're going to be able to hear this. So that's the fan turned on full blast. So the fan is nice and strong. But I've turned all the vents off. So only this vent is now working. And I can feel it, it just isn't, isn't very good. And to give you an idea of how bad it actually is. I'm going to turn this fellow on. And what this does is, this will tell me how fast the air is coming out, if I make this the right way. In miles an hour, seven, eight, 8.5, which is on full blast, which is absolutely terrible. Hopefully you can see that. And if you're on a boat, it's 7.2 knots. And then in kilometers, it's 13.5 kilometers or 13.9. Um, just nowhere near, we have 8.2, you can see that. We're just nowhere near what we should be. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to change the filter and I'm going to show you the difference between the filter being blocked and it's not. Uh, so we need to get to the other side and get to the park to have the whatever you want to call it. So uh, get down there. This is on a 2004 Renault Laguna. I don't know if I mentioned that. The cabin filter or the particle filter, whatever you want to call it, is inside. So we get inside the glove box. And just there, where I've actually removed the screw, there was a screw there, which is a T20 torque. So once you remove that, this slides out, it's difficult to film it like this, but... And as you can see, right there is our particle filter. We've got to take off two of these little bolts, which are a 5.5 mil. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and film it at the same time. This is a bit awkward. Some cars you have to go in through the engine bay, but it's a thing that um, most people do forget to do, and it can cause kind of this problem. So I do get asked in my video, oh, you didn't change the pollen filter. I do, it's just most of them, it's very difficult to film, especially when you're on your own, because you just cannot get good camera angles. And it's just very awkward. So, hopefully now this is blocked. Um, but if your cabin filter isn't blocked, you could have a problem with your fan, even though it might sound like it's working enough it might not be you could have block pipes could be a few other things but this is the easiest and cheapest thing if it does go uh -huh. aha <laughs> as you can see we're just full of leaves now i haven't got the cabin filter or the particle filter pollen filter yet um, i'm just going to take it out at the minute and just show you the difference um if i did have it so this is just a stupid design. So, as you can see, just completely black. Just completely full of crap. Could have been there for years. So, um, I'm just going to leave that like that. Well, I'm actually going to have to put this back, aren't I? Because otherwise, we will... Struggle. So I'm just going to leave that like that and we're just going to quickly test it now to see what difference that makes. 
Okay, so let's see what difference it makes. Um, that, that oil. I am going to put a pollen filter, I just don't have one at the minute, but essentially it's just a case of putting it there, putting the bulb back. Not that difficult. Now, let this full blast again. We had like eight mile an hour or something like that. Put that there. What do we have now? 20.3, 21.5, 0.7, 0 0.8, oh come on, 22. Right. Oh, oh, here we go, 22. And in knots, for some reason, I don't know why I'm showing this, that is 18.19 knots. And in kilometers, there's other readings here, but Kilometers is 35.4. That's 25.5 degrees coming out of there at the minute. So yeah, I mean, uh, you can see the difference just from a simple filter. Now, on a cold day, that obviously makes all the difference. Eight mile an hour to 22 mile an hour is a huge, huge difference. But not only that, if you're trying to, um, you know, clear your windscreen, if it's all fogged up, it's going to take a lot longer to clear, and you know, just, just unbelievable. And that is a very, very cheap fix, and it definitely makes the car drivable again. It's just, you know, having hot air or cold air, depending on if it's hot, because this obviously will affect if you've got air conditioning. It'll affect everything because it's just not, the, the, the fan can't blow it through properly enough. So that's it. Really is simple as that. So, pollen filter makes a huge difference. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's hard to replace one, but that's also what to look for if you are having not enough air flow. Sorry again. If you're not having enough air. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If you're not having enough airflow through your vents, got it out. That's what to look for. So that's it. Sorted. Hope it helps. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that. All the links down below to our GoFundMe page, uh, Facebook, website, forum, you know, the usual, blah, blah, blah. Any questions down below. Most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.